Okay, so now is the time to start our uh, online meetup session. Uh, this is the sixth, the last uh, meetup session, uh, meet, uh, online meetup session uh, between the College of Science and Technology Bhutan and the Japanese Fab Labs and the related facilities. Um, and well, though this is the last of our planned uh, online meetups, meetups, but we have a new, a new announcement for the new program at the end of this uh, well online session. So please stay tuned. And now I'd like to pass my mic to uh, Takemura san. So Takemura san, please. Hi, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining the sixth online event. Uh, today, we invited two guests from Japan. The first guest is Mr. Kinoshita, the director of Fab Cafe Kyoto. Uh, Fab Cafe is a cafe restaurant that offers Fab machines. The second guest is uh, Mr. Ito, the teacher of Kyoto Sangyo University. Uh, he is in charge of Fab, fab space in the university. Both of the Fab Labs, uh, uh, both of guys are located in Kyoto area. Uh, I hope their experience will be uh, will give you ideas useful for Fab Labs in Bhutan. Uh, after 30 minutes talk, each talk from both of guests, I prepared 20 minutes discussion time. If you have uh, any questions, feel free to type them in Zoom chat box. Then let's start from uh, Kinoshita-san. Uh, could you start the presentation? Okay. Okay, uh, I will share my screen and put just a minute. Can you see my screen? Yes. yes. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, I will start my presentation. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Kosuke Kinoshita. I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak in front of you. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I apologize. I'm very bad at English. Please allow me to read the script out loud. I am Kosuke Kinoshita. I am a community manager and producer and director at Fab Cafe Kyoto. Sometimes I do independent my event planning, and sometimes I support the event of others, and sometimes I direct client works. And I was also a waiter of the cafe and also I have rollers, uh, operator, 3D printers, laser cutters, and UV printers, and cetera, and uh, concierge for materials. Uh, I started my career as a manager of a cafe and later works as a gallerist for contemporary art and as an office manager for a local industrial base. Yes, so I'm not a researcher and engineer or a designer, but I would like to introduce to you about place making of Fab Cafe. Uh, today, there are two things I would like to share with you. One is about Fab Cafe. I will give an overview of this brand that is expanding globally. And the other is about Fab Cafe Kyoto, which I am involved in managing. In this part, I will talk about the practice of placemaking. First, here is an overview of Fab Cafe. Uh, we at Fab Cafe have different organ uh, sorry, organizational structures and Fab Labo, but we were born with a big influence from the global fab movement. So what kind of extents is Fab Cafe? One major feature is that our Fab Cafe is both a place equipped with digital publication and a cafe at the same time. 
our motto is Pub Cafe. Do you, uh, oh, sorry, uh, our motto is What do you fab? Is age of user generated content and personal publication? Pub Cafe is an open creative platform that encourages and empowers everyone to make the initiative in creation and uh, creating something. Therefore, we aim to provide a dynamic platform for people to find their own answers to questions such as. Uh, a place where community, technology and creativity mix and create a chemical reaction. That is Pub Cafe. Uh, and Pub Cafe is expanding globally. So uh, this map uh, is too old, uh, but Pub Cafe is a global network with locations in 10 cities around the world. Since its opening in Tokyo in uh, 2012, Pub Cafe has uh, connected with local creators, academia, and companies uh, in other space in Taiwan, Bangkok, Barcelona, Toulouse, Strasbourg, Monterey, uh, Hong Kong, Hida, and other cities. Uh, for example, in Nagoya in Japan and uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, that space uh, opened last year. Uh, yes, uh, so this forming a community based on uh, the Fab Cafe where it all began is located in Tokyo. This is Tokyo space. As a community hub for technology and creation, uh, we have been involved in variety of activities over the past about 10 years. Uh, for example, architecture, uh, car design, uh, it's haptic design and uh, haptics uh, and fashion and uh, graphic design, uh, interactive art uh, or media, art, uh, coffee and barista, uh, food and agriculture, uh, education, electronics, open hardwares and robotics and biotechnology and bio art. Uh, Pub Cafe Tokyo is community driven and is developing project with a wide variety of creators, researchers, companies, and local governments. Some of the projects uh, are bottom up while others are for business. They have established a unique position, with, uh, position and both domestically and internationally as partners in innovation. And there is not enough time to introduce all of them, but I will introduce some of the other Fab Cafes as well. Uh, one is Fab Cafe Bangkok. Uh, Fab Cafe Bangkok's owner is MIT graduate uh, Kalaya san and uh, uh, Samsung. They are both professors who teach architecture at the university. They were turned, uh, sorry, they were to run Fab Labo, but uh, after meeting the founder of the Fab Cafe Tokyo, they decided to create a Fab Cafe because they wanted to create an environment where more people could create things. Fab Cafe Bangkok's community consists of designers and startups and mostly social and hardware and students and children. The workshops also range from engineering to hardware to food to education. So Fab Cafe Bangkok is also linked to the TCDC. Uh, it is Thailand Creative Design Center a national design and art complex opened by the Thai government for the purpose of stimulating and supporting the domestic design industry. 
And the other is Pub Cafe Barcelona. Pub Cafe Barcelona was set up to the co-working space MOB. And that is 300 people are members of MOB and about 15% of them are from outside Spain. The members are engineers, product designers, graphic designers, architects, artists, and many more. Most of them, uh, most of them are freelancers working with companies who are starting their own startups. And the next is Fabcafe Hida. Their main mission is to redesign a sustainable industry based on the theme of forests in Hida. Uh, Hida is a famous forestry region in Japan. This is their uh, company's logo. And they operate Fabcafe Hida, a facility that aims to engage in interregional exchange and the utilization of local resources as a best in the city. They don't just think about how to use wood, uh, but they research the forest with the creators to find new values. For example, uh, a pen tree like this, this or these, they collaborated with the creator to create crossover between uh, AR, augmented reality technology, and chainsaw processing. Uh, can you see the uh, tablet? This is AR. So this experiment may be the first of its kind in the world. And this is uh, their project's output. It's very monumental and very uh, very uh, good. Uh, Square, chair and or table, and it is very monumental in the in the park. So, uh, by the way, Fab Cafe Kyoto to which I belong is a nice place. Do you know anything about the city of Kyoto? Uh, from here. I'd like to introduce the connection between regional characteristics and pub cafe. This is our space. Uh, ah, my uh, background is uh, our rooms. And this is a wiki, wiki tenanda, textile machine. And uh, this is our meetups uh, image. So, uh, why uh, I told this? The reason for this is that all the pub cafes around the world are created independently while being involved with the communities, industries, and cultures of their respective regions. This is probably the same as Pub Labo, too. So, uh, first is culture and history. Kyoto was once home to the capital of Japan, and in the past, uh, cutting-edge technology and expression always came to Kyoto. And next is craftsmanship. The craftsmanship passed. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the craftsmanship passed down in Kyoto is still alive today. Many craftsmen, and they are very young craftsmen to old craftsmen. And many craftsmen and artists are still active in the uh, Kyoto city. Third, uh, this is manufacturers. For example, a number of highly skilled manufacturing industries are located in the area, including pression, pression. Uh, pressure mechanic, uh, sorry, uh, pressure machinery and uh, sensors, ceramics and the fiber. The design centers and the headquarters of major manufacturers in Japan are located uh, in Kyoto, and many related factories are also located nearby Kyoto. 
And then、uh, they are、uh, the universities. Kyoto has、uh, 34 universities in very, very small a r e a And in addition to the universities, there are several research in,、uh, institutes i located in the area. There are,、uh, sorry, and there is a wide range of research fields. From science and technology to the humanities and the arts, making Kyoto、uh, one of the most important academic areas in Japan. The concentration of these resources related to culture and industry is attracting renewed attention to Kyoto as a place with great potential for innovation.、And This map、uh, shows the area around p a b u k a b e Kyoto and Kyoto Station. In the past, the area north of East was recognized as the center of Kyoto, but in the past five years or so,、uh, the southern area has been revitalized as a center of innovation. Where culture and industry meet. However, in the past five years or so, sorry,、uh, as the number of globally active people increase in Kyoto, it seems to me that the place that used to be considered just a transit point with a Shinkansen、uh, train station is now being. He designed as a cultural and industrial center. I believe that we have a role to play in this process, connecting players in a more generous way and creating a spark. Next,、uh, I would like to introduce the form of our facility and some examples of our activities. Pub Cafe Kyoto has four main functions as a place. The first is,、uh, of course, that is a cafe. The place where you are training usually used as a cafe and is visited by people for various purposes. The second is a space for events. Events are held here on a weekly basis, and there were about 100 events a year、uh, before COVID 19.、Uh, and another feature of Pub Cafe is、uh, digital publications.、Uh, this is Pub. This is a tool that allows individuals to give shape to their ideas based on digital data. And can be used at low cost also、uh, through, or,、uh, sorry, through our brand material, MTRA. We display materials filed with various techniques and stories in this place and introduce them to creators and companies seeking materials like a、uh, as a showroom. So, And the fact that Pub Cup Kyoto is a place where and these elements and mix is what the v a l u e We are creating cultural nexus where innovation can easily occur by maintaining a state where diverse players can interact in a flat manner and by always keeping it open. Perhaps it is about designing an environment that is easy to encounter.、And、the events are held as community activities or a meeting of the community. I will now briefly introduce some examples.、Uh, oh, we don't host everything ourselves. And concept Uh, sorry, but various people who sympathize with the context and concept of Fab Cafe Kyoto are active in this place. Over the six years that we've been holding this event, 
we've uh, gradually began to expand our connections and creative jobs. It is very difficult to make a big impact in a short period of time, but I believe that by continuing these activities, we will be able to foster a community in this region that is based on different evolution axes than the traditional three relations blood relations and business trans uh, transactions. Uh, for example, uh, a meetup of the theme of uh, sound and communication was held with uh, voices and platform startups and a uh, musician and researcher from the University of the Arts. Uh, this is an open level to experiment with Combinations of uh, in ingredient, it's uh, alcohol, zinc, uh, zinc with global beverage director. Uh, this is uh, the event with extreme maps as a keyword. We held a talk and workshop with a startup. They uh, uh, GPS map startups and free magazine researcher to expand the enjoyment of maps. Uh, this is a uh, one um, indie community of video game creators uh, for VR. And this is an event, a project to create an orchestra of musical in instruments, instruments instruments uh, converted from home applications, uh, for example, TV or uh, air conditioner or uh, no, and fan, saturator. Uh, so uh, with the participation of students together with artists. And this thing is an uh, artist in residence in collaboration with traditional craftsmen. We are currently continue our residency program, even though we cannot gather many people under the influence of COVID-19. And this is seen of uh, traditional craft masks meets the latest in 3D scanning technology. Uh, about, this is uh, four years ago, and uh, now he used this opportunity as a to become very famous craftsman in Japan. And uh, he, sorry. He drive a uh, drone uh, and Buddha figure, uh, you know, flying, flying the Buddha, he produced. And it is very famous in Japan. Uh, so this is a hands-on workshop on new materials for architects and product designers and plastic artists. Uh, like a hands-on experience with unique materials is now also a very important part of our activities. And uh, this thing is uh, a public program on clean energy by foreign physics teacher in Japan. Uh, we also place importance on learning opportunities that trans uh, sorry, uh, transcend professions and ages and regions and and so uh, this C is ah uh, and this is a monthly meetups three uh, that series that brings together creators and companies. The number of speakers exceeded uh, about 300. Uh, recently, uh, in the influence of COVID-19, uh, we the we focus has been uh, online. Uh, we uh, to, we continued uh, meetup event uh, on online. This is barista championship. Uh, these events, which are not directly related to technology, but are also an important part of the community. 
This is a、uh, university sponsored design bootcamp.、Uh, collaboration with u n i v e r s i t y is also something we are working on. これは後で伊藤さんからもありますかね、uh, Yes, I will talk later about this. <laughs> Thank you.、Uh, so, now,後で譲るようにして、The Global Goals Jam is a two-day design sprint to generate society implementable ideas under the theme of SDGs in Kyoto. We have started this initiative in 2018 with 伊藤さん。So, this one was also online this year. This year, yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, just got the video report on today. Uh, uh, maybe uh, this movie uh, show Ito san. So, because、uh, I skipped, this, skipped it. So, the global value and trend of Fab is a foundation of who we are.、Uh, over the past decade or so,、uh, accessibility to manufacturing has improved drama,、uh, sorry, uh, dramatically. Yeah, yeah.、Uh, thanks to the democrat- Democratization of high performance computers and design software, and the placement of machine tools that physically process digital data in open facilities.、Uh, by facilitating the means of creating data and outputting that data, the speed of prototyping has increased, greatly expanding the Possibility not only for individual manufacturing, but also for collaboration between people who make things. We see this prototyping function as an important element for、uh, innovation. Uh, this is a student creating with a 3D printer. He used FabCafe as one of the basis for his own research activities by creating outside the university. He can also get hints. And advice from visitors.、Uh, this is a cooking mold made with a 3D printer. This is a prototype for product development project. That process e s of making the mold and baking the cookies and adjusting the shape of the mold is repeated in a short time、uh, to shorten the product development time. So, and、uh, this is seen.、Uh, no digital craft will also be done.、Uh, he was a tourist on a short stay in Japan. In two days, he made his own container box to attach to his skateboard, and he left soon. So,、uh, this is a digital embroidery machine from Tajima, a Japanese industrial embroidery manufacturer. I'm、um, embroidering my face on it solely. The link didn't work and it's a steel mesh. And not only do we and our users use the equipment, but for the equipment manufacturer as well. Setting up equipment at Fab Cafe is an opportunity for ex-、uh, experimentation and marketing to explore the possibility of the. New uses. And this part.、Uh, so, Pub Cafe Kyoto is also developing a service brand、uh, called MTRL、uh, that connects material and processing manufacturers with creators. And it also has a role as a showroom.、Uh, no matter how advanced dig- digital technology is, and no matter how excellent that. Designs of designers.、Uh, in the end, it is necessary to create something that can be touched. We are receiving inquiry from Japan and overseas about the unique material installed at Fab Cafe Kyoto in order to see the actual product and ask questions. So, this is,、uh, for example,、ah, 
時間がないのでちょっと飛ばしていきます。This is Nishijin Ori、uh, is a traditional textile of Kyoto.、Uh, this is conductive ink in which written or printed lines become circular. Circuit.、Uh, this is resin materials created by upcycling, discarding, crossing.、Uh, this is Variable monitor created by a sensor manufacturer using its own technology. This is thread、uh, made in Kyoto.、Uh, thread、uh, yarn、uh, has a global market share. And this is Awaji tiles、uh, used in traditional Japanese、uh, roofing. So these are just some,、uh, sorry, and these are just some of the materials we are handling. In addition to exhibit, These materials, Fabric of Kyoto also holds experiments and exhibition projects that open up new possibility for materials together with creators. A variety of other materials are gathered in a generous manner, and active exchanges between creators are also taking place.、Uh, it's last,、uh, last but not least. It must be a cafe. I have introduced a variety of elements, but perhaps I'm most particular about creating,、uh, sorry, uh, creating, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, creating a place called a cafe. Each of the functions I have introduced so far can be realized in other facilities, such as a university or a Corporate laboratory.、Uh, however, we choose to use a cafe that can be visited by anyone for any purpose. Here, there is a philosophy that accepts people flatly,、uh, regardless of their social position or title, and sees diversity itself as a value. Visitors will be able to visualize the communities and projects that I have been telling you about and will be presented with options. I believe that this maximization of the, of the accessibility is what creates healthy communication between people and motivates value creation and social implementation. Uh, last year, the World Bank visited Kyoto to do research, and they introduced us, us in their report. In this report, Fab Cafe Kyoto is introduced as a catalyzer, a facilitator that acts as a catalyst for the region's society, culture, and economy. So,、uh, we believe innovations through encounter and fusion of amazing technology and art. これで終わり、えー、と終わります、えー。Thank you for your attention.、Uh, I am so glad if this story and my telling was an inspiration for you. Thank you. Thank you, Kinoshita san.、Uh, and, uh, yeah,、uh, thank you for introducing、uh, Fab Cafe Kyoto and、uh, showing a lot of e x a m p l e of、uh, works. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, also thank you for some questions.、Uh, Kinoshita san will、uh, answer the questions later.、Uh, before the discussion time,、uh, I want to pass the mic to Ito san. Could you start the presentation? Yeah, okay, I will share my screen now.、Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm、uh, Shinichiro Ito.、Uh, sorry. Let me just take a moment.、Uh, yeah, now you see my screen? Yes, I can see. Ah, cool. Cool, cool. I'm Shinichiro Ito.、Uh, please call me Shin or Ito san, anyway. And、uh, today I'd like to share my experiences about、uh, fabbing as a student, also as a teacher now. And so I have heard uh, now uh, there's a Activity to make a new fab lab in Bhutan with teachers and students. So I hope I can share something, some new perspective or knowledge or insights for both teachers and students. And I would like to open 
and uh, share my every knowledge or experiences. So please free, feel free to ask. And I have a lot of slides, so I go really go fast today. So please, like if you have any questions or something in, my, in your mind, please ask, free, free, feel free to ask. Thank you. So basically I'm a digital fabrication person and uh, also I'm doing design thinking. I teach design thinking or interaction design, human-centered design and the code design, like a design with people, like a especially inclusive design fields. And this is a little bit about my personal history uh, about Fab Lab or Fabbing. So basically I was a student when I was a graduate student, I uh, studied in Kyushu University and uh, I went to the Amsterdam, Netherlands. And uh, I did an internship there at Fab Lab Amsterdam. And after that, I worked as a staff in Kyushu University School of Design. And uh, during that time, I uh, finished the Fab Academy. That's also I have heard uh, some of you uh, uh, will take Fab Academy this year. So I also talk about that. And now I'm doing the lecture at Kyoto Sangyu University and uh, uh, the setting up new fab space in the university is my also job. So I'd like to talk about something like this. So basically three things, Fab Lab and me as a student and setting up fab space in the university as a staff or faculty member. And at the end, I will a little bit talk about fabbing and SDGs. So basically me and Fab Lab, my first uh, contact with Fab Lab was uh, 2013. There's a Fab Nine in Japan, Yokohama at that time. Uh, at that time I was a uh, master first uh, student. And uh, in my university, there's only few digital fabrication machines. There's only one laser cutter, brand new one. And uh, actually no one, uh, no one knows how to use a laser cutter. And I'm the only person I uh, have to use laser cutters. So I teach my friends or younger students how to use laser cutters. Uh, even, even there's uh, laser cutters, I don't have uh, access to 3D print at the time, unfortunately. And I have about five, nine and visit there. It was very exciting for me. And, uh, I had a plan to go to Netherlands as an exchange student for one year. So I went there and fortunately my friends uh, did an internship in uh, Amsterdam, Fab Lab Amsterdam. So uh, fortunately I have chances to go there as an intern. Uh, so Fab Lab Amsterdam looks like this. It looks like a castle and it's very in the middle of the Amsterdam. But the, in the second floor, there's a Fab Lab. So inside it, of this building like this, uh, there's 3D printers. It looks like old 3D printers, but when at that time it looks like this, uh, old uh, Ultimakers. Mm -hmm. This is where I learned how to, do, uh, how to do 3D printing, how to use 3D printers. And also I teach uh, the customers how to use the 3D printers and modeling so on. And there's also a big CNC milling machine shop bot. It was very new for me and it was very powerful. I was very inspired and uh, it's sometimes also dangerous. So I learned uh, how to uh, use these machines there. And there's a bunch of also handy tools, not just as uh, digital fabrication tools. So also I learned many hand tools, how to use them. And uh, yeah, this is the main air, uh, space in the Fab Lab. It's not that actually big and but you see now the, the white big machines actually laser cut the new, new one. And I like the space a lot because it filled with a kind of creative atmosphere like this. So you see the bass guitar over there. It's made by the a master of Fab Lab Amsterdam, uh, but my boss, Alex. And there's many kind of uh, furniture, items, products that's made in this Fab Lab. So when you visit there, you see, okay, you can make this, I can make this. This atmosphere is very, yeah, inspiring for me. Yeah, and also there's an electronic uh, desk like this. And uh, there's always uh, a person who work uh, for the electronic circuit, a sorting. Mm. So everyone can like ask 
him how to make these kind of things. And my internship uh, colleague uh, made a small axle. It looks like uh, uh, it's, it's yelling, but it's, the shape is from the city of Amsterdam. Mm. So she started a small business. So in Amsterdam life, I uh, learned a lot about fab lab, fab culture, not just as uh, digital fabrication machines, uh, not just about uh, technologies or manuals, but more like an atmosphere and a mindset, I think. And also I did the research in the Netherlands. Uh, my research topic was the possibility of uh, personal fabrication uh, by disabled people. So I found one uh, user of FabLab. Uh, he has a disability uh, and he went there. Uh, he went to the FabLab uh, to ask, hey, I want to make this by myself because I need these tools. So then the, like uh, the boss of the FabLab or master of FabLab made this, uh, small, oh no, actually this is not made by him. Actually, this is before he make the tools, but uh, he used this kind of long uh, fork to eat something and he bring this every time, but it's not easy to wash. Mm. It, it was not so clean. So uh, the, the Fab Lab person made a new, well-designed, uh, more clean uh, new tools for him. And he also started uh, uh, to join a Fab Academy by himself to make something that he needs. So this was a kind of beginning of my fab life. And after that, I work as a Kyushu University uh, staff. And uh, at the time, uh, the, the university has an idea to make a new fab spaces, to make a new fab spaces and uh, start a fab academy. So this is very first uh, picture or workshop that we set up the fab spaces. There, there are the, the old uh, workshop, like a wood workshop, iron workshop, or painting because it's a, a school of design, but there's no digital fabrication spaces that students can use. So there's a now new 3D printers, two 3D printers, and one laser cutters, but there, and uh, we organize a workshop with students and teachers. And this is a very interesting picture. Uh, it shows the very first workshop with uh, in a fab spaces over there. And it looks like a mixed person, but there's a, a workshop staff, also teachers, professors, and students learning together, mm, not separately, uh, learning together. And actually guest lecturers are also uh, graduate. And uh, actually they organize a fab lab also in their in other spaces, in other cities. So it's also a, like a organizing the workshop is a part of making a community. So how to grow the community and cultures in the, uh, in the universities. And uh, but Fab Academy, I did it in 2016 and 17, I think. And uh, there's many uh, lecture in the Fab Academy, probably you already know, but one of my favorite uh, lectures are called Composites. I think still there's a Composites lecture, I hope. And uh, this is what I made. It's a, I call it Catch Me Bag. And this is, this is very actually hard uh, bag. And inside that, there's this really printed uh, kind of uh, mold, inside mold. And uh, I just randomly take the t-shirt in a very cheap uh, secondhand one and uh, made it as a material. And uh, in the composite sessions, you use a uh, resin and vacuum form it. And uh, kind of, I wrap the, this yellow 3D printed uh, inside the back with this t-shirt. And so resin go inside the t-shirt and it gets really hard. And after that, I can, use it as a very light and uh, hard bag. I really liked it. Mm -hmm. So this was my final project called Fab Guardian. Uh, I have a video here. Let me just uh, show a video. So I uh, combined various techno techniques, use laser cutters and CNC milling machines to make a mold, looks like heart. And when I uh, touch the sensor to my ear, it detects my heartbeat, heart pulse. And uh, uh, 
it's synchronized with the heart pulse and uh, light and emit the light and sound. And inside there's a, a, a DIY uh, circuit board uh, you can uh, program with Arduino. And this, I made a soft heart with a molding and casting technology like this. Mm. Sometimes you see this kind of uh, pictures in the emailing list from the Fab foundations. Mm. Uh, but by the way, if you are interested in the, my whole process of making this, please uh, uh, take a look at this uh, website. Later, you can see my uh, slides, whole slides. I will share it. So you can just click and open this page. Oops. So, and uh, then I moved to Kyoto. Now I'm in Kyoto uh, and we started to work Kyoto Sangyo University. And because uh, the Kyoto Sangyo University had a plan to make a new fab space from 2018. And uh, now I'm here. So basically I uh, work in a faculty of information science and engineering. And so it's, I think it's similar to your university. It's about engineering, uh, especially in uh, informatics, information sciences. And uh, they started a new uh, faculty uh, from 2018. And uh, interesting system is that a student can actually choose uh, their um, uh, study course. So there's 10 courses. Uh, it's um, envisioned here. So there's 10 courses like network systems, information security, data sciences, robot interactions, um, et cetera. So various things about uh, information sciences. And there's one course called digital fabrication. So actually I teach uh, some digital fabrication classes. Later I will share uh, details. And at that time they started the fab spaces. And there's a small video about fab spaces and showing what they can uh, make. Uh, so it looks like this. Not so big spaces, but it started it's, uh, 2018. Uh, and there's 3D printer, there's a CATES, CNC milling machine to make a circuit board or cutting machines, UV printers, and uh, even though uh, they're freshmen, they can use it. Mm. And there's a uh, various uh, product uh, by students. I will share later a little bit about this. Mm. So it's just a small introduction video. This is the logo of our spaces. So it's a technical detail about my our spaces, Kyotsang University for spaces. So it's open uh, from Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Mm. And basically uh, students can uh, use or make a reservations in this time. Mm. And uh, there's lunch break from one to two, generally. And users are students and faculty staffs uh, of our university, basically. Unfortunately, it's not Fab Lab and uh, uh, we wanted to open uh, to the locals, but in this COVID-19 situation, it's a little bit difficult now. So it's a future uh, development. And basically students have to uh, make a reservations uh, to use the machines or spaces. And there's a website uh, to make a reservation based on the Google form. And uh, we organized the instruction workshop. Uh, there's basically two kinds of instruction workshop, uh, safety, safety instructions uh, and machine instructions. Safety instruction workshop, basically all students who wants to use the fabrication, uh, fab spaces uh, have to take this uh, instruction workshop. So it's a very basic one. It's just 30 minutes uh, basic uh, instruction with some quiz not so difficult. And after they passed it, they can uh, make a reservation and use the fab space. And we also organize each machine's uh, instruction workshop, like three printers, uh, laser cutters, and so on, so on, so on. So they have an opportunity to learn uh, machine, how to use machines. And after they uh, finish the, this instruction workshop of machines, they can make a reservation of the machines. About management, uh, our faculty of information science and engineering uh, manage these spaces, but 
all students in this university can use it. And so it's uh, very open to the university uh, students. And there's a one uh, full-time staff. Uh, so basically this full-time staff teaches uh, machines or uh, sometimes students are uh, asking questions to the uh, full-time staff anytime. And there's also part-time student staff. Uh, generally there's two mm. and they help the full-time staff. And there's faculty committee, a uh, two faculty committee, including me. And the other teachers are uh, measuring in uh, VR, uh, prototyping, those kind of stuff. So it's very compact uh, management uh, team. So these are the machines we have in uh, spaces. Probably many of you uh, know them. And uh, there's, um, I think, uh, 12 or uh, 13 FDM 3D printed for now, and two SLA 3D printers, and one laser cutter, and one UV printer, and one CNC machines to make a circuit board, and embroidery machines, vinyl cutters, and uh, soldering irons and hand tools. So base, very basic uh, fab lab tools are uh, equipped here. Uh, 3D printers are the most uh, popular machines. Uh, normally, if laser cutters are the most popular machines in the fab lab, but actually in our spaces, 3D printers are the most popular. Mm. Because uh, our students are not used to the uh, vector uh, editing software like Illustrators or Inkscape is there. They like the 3D printing or 3D modeling software a lot. And when we started uh, our spaces uh, three years ago, uh, we made four keywords to uh, uh, conceptualize our spaces. And one is a read and write and open and a create link. So those uh, four keywords uh, made our mindset and we push our students to uh, think about these uh, four concepts. And also we uh, made a branding of spaces. When we call the fab space, it's too general and we need an identity to specifying our spaces. And so we made a small kind of uh, competition in university and the students can uh, apply and uh, they can uh, give some idea about the name of spaces. And uh, at the end, our space is named Redirections. And uh, we designed a logo. So we use many times this logo to my, our projects. And uh, we also branded in the spaces. So we made this uh, big logo on the wall. And uh, actually we it done by my, ourselves uh, with uh, uh, cutting machines. Uh, by ourselves. So this is about uh, spaces, but uh, things are not only about spaces. We also do the lectures as education, uh, formal education. It's co also called digital fabrications. So I'd like to little bit uh, sh like to share about this digital fabrication as a lecture. So this is mainly for first year undergrad students, and uh, it's very intensive lecture series. Uh, we organize this in the fall semester from basically October to next year's uh, February. So it's now going on, students are making right now, actually. And uh, so it's very early, first year. So after this lecture, they can, uh, they know how to use the fab spaces and machines. So they can go further after these lectures, even though they are like second year or third year young students. And this is basic uh, structure of this class. Uh, we first start uh, idea sketches. Actually, the, the whole concept uh, is similar to the Fab Academy. So we make uh, idea sketch for the final project in the beginning. And we teach us also how to make idea sketches, how to generate ideas, ideations, brainstorming, those kind of stuff in the very first lectures and presentation as well. And after that, we uh, have three assignments, basically. First one is a laser cutting, and second one is 3D printing, and third one is CNC link machines to make a PCB board. And at the end, uh, students uh, will combine these three machines techno techniques to make one final product. So this is, and 
in each uh, assignments, they have to learn hardware and software and literacy each time. Hardware and software literacy. So I, I, I go deeply, deeply uh, of each assignment. So first assignment is about laser cutting. So basically uh, we teach is the uh, laser cutters and uh, how to make data uh, using software. And the assignment is uh, use a laser cutter to make some tools that fit something. So they have to measure and uh, make ideas that fits to something. Mm. So they have to carefully measure the things and they also have to learn how to measure things correctly. Mm. And they also have to learn software uh, basically vector drawing software we use inkscapes uh, for these classes open source software and uh, also we teach a job control that's uh, uh, job control is a software especially for the Trotex laser cutters and we also uh, teach hardware laser cutters and we ask students uh, to use both raster processing and vector processing mm. because uh, this is too big uh, function of uh, these laser cutters. And they have to know the difference and the uh, settings. And in this assignment, uh, they learn literacy about how to use the fab spaces, also uh, many type of uh, tools and how to use it. The second assignment is 3D printing. And the specific assignment is uh, designing a smart speaker. So there's a many smart speaker like Alexa or Google, but uh, you can imagine more interesting uh, or future smart speaker that fits to your life or some users' uh, life mm. as a partner in your, in your house or somewhere. So basically we teach the software, CAD software and CAM software. And in this uh, class, we teach the uh, Autodesk Fusion 360 mainly and uh, how, to make, uh, how to use the 3D printers. And also not just using a 3D printer, they have to make machines, uh, machines uh, with the electric circuit board inside. So they have to also think about the enclosure design, not just outside, mm. also inside. Mm. And in this uh, sessions, uh, they learned literacy about uh, dimensional tolerance or some limitation of the 3D printing or um, 3D modeling, mm. also possibilities as well. These are some examples uh, made by students. Mm. And third so assignment is CNC milling machines. Uh, and uh, they have to design and make a electronic circuit board using the Autodesk uh, Eagle. So ba basically uh, we, uh, we already prepared a circuit board and parts and they just make a layout and uh, design it. And they mill with this uh, CNC milling machines and they uh, solder it by themselves. Mm. And they also have to learn how to uh, use the CNC milling machines and their electronic components. So at the end, each student uh, have one final product. And uh, at the end of the lecture, we have uh, exhibition every year. Uh, so we open up the spaces after COVID-19 situation, it's online and we invite uh, all teachers or faculty members who are interested in the spaces and they give the comments like this. So last year it was uh, online, full online using a mirror. And uh, you see some post-its here, sticky notes here. Uh, and these are all comments from the uh, visitors. And there's a link here. If we have time later, we can also visit uh, and watch it together or you can, you can also visit later. And this was about education in a university, but I think uh, not to, uh, education itself is not enough. I think informal educational activity is very important to foster or grow the community and the mindset in a university. So we planned many uh, projects, uh, we call it fab space projects as an informal educational activity. So this was one uh, successful uh, project so students, two students made a multifunctional stationery for the high school students called Konoji. I, I can show you now a small video. So this is a tool to keep the book open like this, because when they study, 
they want to open the uh, book like this study book. As, a, as you see here. And also, uh, you study, a user can use this uh, tools as a, like a uh, memorizing tools or kind of like a rulers to make a waving mm, curve. So this is a very functional things. And this is made by laser cutters and UV printers, all made in the uh, universities and designed by students. I, I, actually, at that time, there was, uh, they are second year students after, uh, after digital fabrication classes. And this was very successful. And uh, after this project, uh, university started to uh, sell this product uh, on the website. So actually you can buy or people can buy this product on the websites. Mm. So this is one big uh, successful project by students. And this is another project uh, called uh, Noitami. It's a mask band. Uh, so for COVID-19 situation, when you, we use a mask every day, every year, it's hard for your ear. And so they, he, uh, three students designed this uh, mask band. So you can use like this and it's very soft made uh, with EVA. It's like a spongy like uh, material. And you can actually cut like this so you can, uh, adjust the size as you like. It's also made by laser cutters. And we also uh, ask students to organize a workshop uh, that fits the more like a local uh, atmosphere or situation. So we made up the incense workshop with digital applications. Mm. So we use laser cutter to make a mold uh, to fit the incense that uh, gives nice smells. And we also uh, made a tools to mix the incense powder and waters. And after the incense get dried, uh, then you, you can use a soldering iron to heat up to smell it. So we did uh, this small workshop in the Maker Fair Kyoto uh, in 2019. Or sometimes we involve the high school students uh, to uh, open up our space for the more younger peoples. And with high school students, we made a like a New Year's letter with laser cutters and uh, embroidery machines and 3D printers and so on. And in Kyoto, actually, there's many fab spaces, like Kinosta san said. Uh, there's many university with fab spaces, also fab space like this. So we, we ask students, okay, let's think about uh, city as a campus, not just uh, stay in the university, but let's go out of uh, university and make and study. So we collaborated with, uh, main, with uh, Fab Cafe Kyoto many times. This was a Fusion 360 meetup in the Fab Cafe Kyoto. Or sometimes we inviting the uh, guests from the Fab Lab outside. So there's one guest talk from uh, Fab Lab Roma or at Fab Lab Kobe in uh, Japan. So the, the important thing is beyond the classroom, uh, for teaching, uh, not just that uh, it's a classroom, but uh, it's more like a creating the culture of fabbing as a place of, uh, for the activities. So for, for this uh, purposes, we made a concept of spaces and branding and space itself or samples, objects and projects. And uh, it should be the connecting point uh, with fab facility in the city, not just a space in the university. So I have a few minutes. So this is a final topic, and me uh, connecting the fabbing design SDGs. So as Kinosta san shows, uh, we, uh, Kinosta san, uh, Fab Cafe, and me, and uh, Kyushu University, Yamaguchi University, and Fab Cafe Kwarampu, uh, Impact Fab Kwarampu organized the GGJ this year. So this is two days uh, workshop for the SDGs generating the ideas and making prototypes. And then the uh, accelerate creativity by working in teams with diverse uh, specialties. So we invite many uh, background people and working together and designing together mm, for SDGs. And this event is uh, launched in 2060 by uh, United Nations uh, Development Program, UNDP. And digital society school at the university, uh, Amsterdam University of Applied Sciences. 
and it's organized uh, in a sep uh, September every year uh, in many cities. Now more than 100 cities organize this. So the keyword is think big, start small, act fast. And uh, this is, uh, there's also two uh, and jump kit for organizers. So if you are interested in to organize this uh, GGJ workshop, you can also access to these tools. And I'm also in charge of this uh, kind of Asian community of GGJ. So please feel free to ask about GGJ. Uh, this is uh, one very important concept for me of GGJ. This is two days event, very short. Uh, so it's very difficult to solve the problem in two days. But the important thing is uh, fall in love with the problems, not solutions. So if you fall in love with the problems, you can keep working uh, and keep prototyping and keep designing for these problems, not just two days hard work. Uh, mm. Two days hard work. Mm. So the final message from me is uh, let's prototype everything together. This is a very important mindset that uh, Fab Lab or Fab Space can uh, foster for students or teachers or people. And that's, that's I think, this very important uh, mindset in the Fab Lab and Fab Spaces. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to discuss later <laughs> in the discussion session. Thank you. Yes, thank you for uh, wonderful topics. And uh, yeah, let's come into the discussion time. And uh, we already have some uh, questions in the chat box. Uh, Watanabe-san, could you start the discussion? Yes. So um, first, I think uh, Dr. Cheki Dorji asked to Kinoshita-san uh, about the difference between Fab Cafe and Fab Lab. So, could you explain? Fab Lab and Fab Cafe の違いは何でしょう？じゃあちょっと日本語で話させていただきます。えっと大きく二つお答えします。えっと一つはえっとファブカフェはより作るきっかけになるということを大事にしています。ファブラボは作る人が育っていくということをすごく大切にしている場所だと思います。なので、私たちファブカフェとえっとファブラボは近い場所でも遠い場所でもまあ協力関係にあって、ファブカフェで作ることに興味を持ちやりたいと思った人たち、それからえっとスキルアップしていった人たちは今度ファブラボを使う人になっていくし、あるいはファブラボでその自分が作ることだったりをえっと覚えた人をえっと。学んだ人がそれをシェアするためにファブカフェみたいな場所を使ってより広い人にあの作ることを楽しんでもらったり教えたりすることができるようなそのエコシステムができたらなと思っているのが一つ。So, so he has two answers to Cheki Dorji, your question about the difference between Fab Cafe and Fab Lab. And the answer number one. Uh, is that Fab Cafe is more um, emphasizing more on creating some, um, oh, this is difficult, um, create, uh, initiating uh, something, some process of making something. So get someone interested, get someone hands on experience, start something. Uh, whereas Fab Lab is more about uh, growing people or ra raising people, making people skilled, uh, have the right mindset um, so that one can create something by himself, maybe. And so the, the relations between the two uh, are sometimes in Kinoshita-san's mind, um, kind of symbiotic in the sense that uh, Fab Cafe may prompt people to uh, have some interest into making things. And those people might go to Fab Lab to learn deeper about how, how to make things. And then after becoming a skilled maker, maybe he comes back and share what he can do 
add Fab Cafe so that new set of people gets interested in doing something similar or the same. So that's answer number one. And he has another answer that I'm yet to hear. お願いします。はい、ちょっと短めに行きます。えっと、収益のモデルをどう作っていくのかというところの違いがあります。で、えっと、ファブカフェはですね、えっと、特にえっと、日本のファブカフェは、えっと、会社組織が運営しているんですけ
in the box. I, I remember the FabLab Oita in Kyushu, uh, a person had tried to mill the bamboo with the CNC milling machines, I think. Mm. And, and it worked? I, th I think it worked a little bit, oh. but uh, it seems very difficult because it's a rotating uh, milling. So mm. he made a rotation kind of machine itself and milled, if I remember correctly. Okay. Thank you. So uh, let me move on to another thing, uh, another uh, question. Uh, uh, may oh, I? Yes, please. To, uh, to Kenoshita, it, what I was asking was uh, if there are other, other specific challenges that uh, you all face when it comes to the textile, textile uh, because I was seeing in, uh, in your lab, you also have some textile based uh, components being fabricated. So from that angle, is there any typical challenges that you face in terms of textile? ぬの、ぬの系で難しかったことは。ぬの系ですね。1個えっとこの後えっとリンクも送りしますが、少しえっと面白いえっと事例がありました。えっと、朝金じゃちょっとそれだけお話いただいていいでしょうか。リンクを
。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。So, did that answer to your question, c h e k i Dorji? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the、uh, next question goes to Ito san, I think. Do you have advice to operate FabLab in engineering institute based on your experience for students, staff, and communities? Yes, thank you very much for asking questions. And、uh, I'm a design background. And so it was very interesting experience for me too, setting up the、uh, space. In a kind of engineering departments. So, I and full time staff is based on design, and other faculty members are basically engineers, research and engineering researchers. So, the mindset is very different, I think. And I think it's very good for our first base that there is a design based person who are involved in there, also, engineering person or teachers who are involved in there. So, they have different、uh, aspects to talk. So, students are very diverse. And so, like we, we have different、uh, ideas or perspectives, we can、uh, ask the student, hey, you can make this or this, or maybe this can be an interesting idea for this. And this kind of various、uh, advisors is very important, I think. This is one thing. The second thing is、uh, ideation. And brainstorming is very important. Generally, for engineering students,、uh, they have、uh, they know technology, but、uh, they have less ideas. They have few ideas. So、uh, they have to know how to make ideas or uh, uh, mindset or attitude to make ideas.、Mm. So it's kind of like a, a knowledge in a design field. So as designers, it's Very like normal to、uh, okay, let's do the brainstorming or idea sketches, but it's kind of new for the、uh, students and the engineering based students. So that's we carefully and intentionally share and、uh, carefully facilitate the students to make a、uh, kind of idea. So sometimes we make a more like a workshop style to create ideas, 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 ideas. So、um, this is very important、um, to set up the. Kind of workshop like ideation, then they know how to make ideas at the end. Is that correcting your answering your questions? Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you.、Mm-hmm. No problem. Thank you. And did I miss any other question? Oh,、uh, so Muramatsu. Muramatsu-san, yes. So, Muramatsu san asked When we design a smart speaker, the knowledge of acoustics is necessary. Do students learn acoustics, acoustics in this subject? <laughs> okay, I will answer.、Uh, basically, the, when we said designing the smart speaker, they、uh, don't have to think about the acoustic、uh, aspect.、Uh, it's more like uh, uh, how. It、uh, looks and uh, how it interacts, I mean, interact as an object、uh, if they work. So the functional aspect is not、uh, necessary in these、um, uh, assignments, especially for the first year freshman students. It's really difficult to think about、uh, in acoustic part and technical part. So it's mainly more like a product design viewpoint. s And in our curriculum, there's no uh, acoustic uh, class to class or things, unfortunately. Oh, there's one, but、uh, not just like a, a room acoustics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay,、yeah. then、uh, it's almost time. So,、mm. okay, let's wrap up the discussions. And、uh, yeah, thank you for uh, uh, two guests. Uh, please make a hand clap. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Hi. And、uh, I will pass the mic to Kogure san. Could you inform about next sessions, special session? <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. 
Yeah, actually, uh, well, uh, as I told you, uh, we are now having a new idea to start a new series of the online meetup. And actually, this new idea uh, came from the uh, Yamada-san. So I will hand my mic to Yamada-san, please. Uh, thank you, Kogura-san. Do you hear me? <clears throat> uh, yes. Thank you very much. Now, uh, now there and there is a high risk of the snowfall, the first snowfall in Timpu. So, so now I'm, I'm freezing. <laughs> so that, that makes it difficult for me to uh, to speak very flu uh, very fluently. But anyway, I, I will try. And the thank well, thanks to the initiatives by Kogura-san and his team. Uh, we have organized the six online meetup sessions between CST and the Japanese Fab Labs. And actually we have learned a lot uh, from, the, from the experience of the different Fab Labs uh, and, uh, the diff and the so many different kinds of settings. And uh, that, uh, they are so informative, uh, but, uh, but I noticed that the number of the participants here are very, are very limited. So I think I think the frequency should uh, should be uh, could be reduced like uh, like once in every quarter or so, and uh, also uh, due to the time constraint, uh, we had a very limited chance to uh, to hear the experience of the makers or users who uh, who made something from the from the facilities available in the uh, in fab in the fab labs. So uh, so uh, so having said that. I have proposed the organizer that uh, that there should be another couple of different chances uh, for us to hear about the experience of the individual makers or uh, or fabricators. So uh, so so in this context, I would like to propose uh, I would like to pro uh, propose uh, the next session. I uh, I call it uh, online meetup to uh, uh, two point zero, and I'm going to. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, I also like to share uh, the. Okay, it's already uh, already mentioned everything. Uh, so uh, so online the next online meetup uh, 2.0, I titled the Meet the Japanese Father. And uh, well, uh, so the next uh, the first one uh, will be scheduled on the 18th of January, uh, Tuesday. Uh, the time is. Uh, a little bit, a little bit earlier than usual. Uh, it starts at 4 p.m. Uh, Bhutan Standard Time. That is uh, 7 p.m. in Japanese Standard Time. And we uh, we are going to invite uh, Mr. Yudaga Tokushima, the CEO and founder of Instadim Incorporated. The reason why I uh, I contacted uh, I contacted Mr. Tokushima is that he uh, he has visited Bhutan twice. And the first uh, and uh, the, his first visit to Bhutan is to, is is on November two thousand sixteen, and he visited CST, and also he he visited the different uh, different places, and also he uh, he had a chance to interact with the then Prime Minister Dasho Tsirintobuge. So uh, so uh, there uh, there must be some uh, some people who still remember uh, what the Mr. Uh, Mr. Tokushima. Told and uh, told them so, uh, and also uh, his current work, uh, the current work as a CEO of the Instadim Incorporated, uh, he has been working for the promotion of the low cost, uh, low cost three D three D CAD designing software and also three open source three D printer as well as a, uh, as well as a AI uh, AI based. Uh, this, uh, designing system for the uh, for the low cost prosthetic legs, and they are uh, so and they must be so relevant uh, to the circumstances that we uh, we face in Bhutan or any other developing countries. And he is uh, he is going to work for the uh, for the promotion of his uh, his product uh, to be uh, to serve for the. Uh, for many uh, many population who have been suffering from the from the lack of the affordable uh, prosthetic legs in uh, in developing world, so uh, so his experience as a hardware start uh, startup must have something to do and some and some, and some relevance 
uh, to the to the issues that we are facing. So I think I think his uh, his lecture in the next in the next meetup session will be a very uh, very uh, very uh, variable uh, full of variable information. So uh, so it's uh, the information uh, the uh, the registration. So if uh, so, uh, so while I'm talking, I'm I try to uh, I try to post the at the URL of the uh, of this uh, of this session uh, the next session. So having said that, I would just I would like to stop it and uh, stop my uh, my talk. Uh, and also, <laughs> I would like to add, Mr. Uh, Mr. Tokushima is also from Kyoto. So uh, <laughs> I, I came to know about that uh, recently, and uh, I really would, uh, appreciate the uh, the two speakers who spoke about why why Kyoto is so creative and famous for uh, for its creative city uh, city efforts. So I uh, I also would like to uh, to thank a lot uh, for the two speakers who uh, who shared their experience today. Uh, so I stop here, and I look forward to seeing you again in the next winter up session. Back to okay. you, Togure san Ah, okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Yamada san So, well, uh, that's the new uh, well uh, series of our uh, coming uh, online meetup. So uh, please, uh, everybody, please, uh, yeah, uh, keep in touch. Uh, this is not the last chance to talk with the Japanese uh, farmers. So uh, thank you very much for joining today and we will uh, be uh, meeting again, uh, sure, in January. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice new year. Oh, yeah. Same to you. Happy, Happy new year. Thank you to everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.